Welcome to our discussions. We are looking at a question that was done in KCSE 2022. Question number 19, a question on transformation and matrices. The question reads, a transformation matrix T1 with the coordinates 1.5002 maps a triangle ABC onto triangle A prime B prime C prime. We have also another transformation T2 with coordinates 3, negative 2, 2, negative 1, mapping triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, onto triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. The coordinates of point C double prime is 10, 8, and the area of A double prime, B double prime, C double prime is 15 square units. The first part of the question, determine the coordinates of C. The first thing we need to understand, we have two transformations here. We have a transformation T1 and a T2. And then, of course, we are told that we have triangle ABC that is mapped onto triangle A with transformation T1. And also, the image of ABC, which is A prime, B prime, C prime, is mapped onto triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, with transformation matrix T2. You realize we have two transformations here, T1 and T2, meaning this is what we call successful, successive transformation. In successive transformation, the first thing a student is supposed to do is to make sure that you combine the two transformations so that you can get one transformation which maps triangle A, B, C directly onto A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime. How do you do that? You simply take the second matrix of transformation, you multiply by the first one always. And this one is going to be equal to, the second is 3, 2, negative 2, negative 1. You multiply by the first matrix of transformation, which is 1.5, 0. Then we have 0, 2. Remember, we multiply row times column. This is 3 times 1.5 plus negative 2 times 0, you get 4.5. Then we have 3 times 0, plus negative 2 times 2, you get negative 4. Then we come down 2 times 1.5, plus negative 1 times 0, you get a 3. Then of course we have 2 times 0, plus negative 1 times 2, which will give us negative 2. This is a single matrix of transformation that maps every point here directly onto this image. So we have been told of C double prime is 10, 8, meaning it is actually C that has been mapped onto C double prime directly. So what we are going to do for us to transform C onto C double prime direct, we take the matrix of transformation, that is the single matrix of transformation, which is 4.5 minus 4, we have 3 negative 2, we multiply by the coordinates of C, which we don't know, let me call it x, y. We write them as the column vector. And this one is going to give us the coordinates of C double prime, which is 10, 8. So we again multiply the 2. That is 4.5 times x, you get 4.5 x. Then uh, minus 4 times y, you get minus 4 y. This one will be equal to 10. 
then next we have 3 times x you get 3x uh, plus negative 2 times y you get minus 2y and this one is going to give us 8 these are now two simultaneous equations which we are going to solve simultaneously using elimination if I start by eliminating y I'm going to take 2 in the first uh, in the second equation I multiply with the first one then 4 in the first one I multiply with the second then if you expand or you multiply back those two constants we are going to have 2 times 4.5 giving us 9x then 2 times minus 4y you get minus 80y and this one is going to give us 20 4 times 3x you get 12x then 4 times minus 2y you get minus 8y and this one is going to be equal to 8 times 4 which is 32 from there now we can subtract the two equations minus 8 minus minus 8y will cancel so we are going to have 9x minus 12x giving us a minus 3x and this one is going to give us 20 minus uh, 32 which is negative 12 if you divide both sides by negative 3 the value of x is going to be equal to 4 having gotten the value of x we can now substitute x in equation for example 2 to get the value of y equation 2 is a 3x minus 2y being equal to 8 remember our x is 4 so we are going to have 3 multiplied by x which is 4 minus 2y being equal to 8 so 12 minus 2y will give us 8 minus 2y will be equal to 12 goes to the other side and becomes a minus so we are going to have minus 4 and finally for us to get y you divide both sides by negative 2 and our y is going to be equivalent to 2 once we have done that now we can simply write the coordinates of c which is going to be the value of x first being 4 and also y being 2 and that gives us the coordinates of c remember to subscribe to the channel and also help us to share the link we are moving to roman 2 where we are supposed to determine the area of triangle a b c remember we have been given this triangle a b c which has been transformed directly into a double prime b double prime c double prime we have been given the area of this triangle as 15 square units we are going to use uh, the area scale factor here and we know area scale factor will always be equal to the area of image you divide by the area of object remember the image is a double prime b double prime c double prime and the object is simply a b c and we always know that the area scale factor is always equivalent to the determinant we are going to begin by getting the determinant and we get the determinant of uh, the matrix of transformation which is 4.5 negative 4 and then 3 negative 2 so this one is going to give us we multiply the elements of the leading diagonal which is 4.5 times negative 2 then we minus the elements of the minor diagonal which is 3 times minus 4 and this one is going to give us the area scale factor equivalent to 3 once we get the area scale factor we know we can use it to get the area of triangle ABC going back to the formula the area scale factor is 3 and this one is going to be equal to the area of the image which is 15 square units you divide by the area of the object which we are looking for 
rationalize this as one then of course we cross multiply a b c times three you get three is a b c which is going to equal to 15. if you divide both sides by three the triangle a b c is going to have an area of 15 divided by three which is five square units and you earn your three max we now move to part b we have been told the coordinates of points are b and b double prime remember it's b that has been mapped direct onto b double prime we have been given the coordinates of b which is x y we have also been given the coordinates of uh, the image which is b double prime as 6x plus 1 and of course 8 so for us to proceed again it's very simple we take the coordinates of the object we multiply them by the image matrix of transformation for us to get the image direct so it is as uh, simple as that first uh, take the matrix of transformation 4.5 then minus 4 we have 3 negative 2 multiply by the coordinates of the object which is x y and this is gonna give us 6x plus 1 and 8 of course we again multiply these two 4.5 times x you get 4.5x then minus 4 times y you get minus 4y this one is going to be equal to 6x plus 1 then x times 3 you get 3x minus 2 times y you get minus 2y and this one is going to be equal to 8 we can reorganize the two so that 6x becomes this other side such that you take 4.5 minus 6x you get negative 1.5x that is minus 4y and this one is going to give us 1 next uh, we are going to have 3x we are going to have 3x minus 2y being equal to 8 again these two are simultaneous so we are going to eliminate y first by multiplying the first one by 2 and the second one by 4 so if we multiply back we are going to have a negative 1.5 x times 2 which is minus 3x minus 8y being equal to 2 then we have 12x minus uh, 8y being equal to 32 we subtract the 2 y cancels out and therefore minus 3x minus 12x is going to give us a uh, minus 15x being equal to 2 minus 32 you get minus 30 divide both sides by negative 15 our x is going to be equal to 2 remember we are not looking for x we are looking for y so we are going to substitute x in for example uh, equation uh, 2 and for us to get the value of y equation 2 has 3x but remember x is 2 minus uh, 2y being equal to 8 this is 6 minus 2y being equal to 8 6 goes to the other side we remain with minus 2y being equal to of course positive 2 divide both sides by negative 2 our y is going to be equal to negative 1 and by so doing you have that particular question right thank you for watching and in case you are watching this channel for the first time please take a second or two you click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this you'll automatically be given a notification